This is a quick video to teach you how you're going to grow microorganisms on plates using swabs that you've taken from surfaces around the school. And then you'll be growing these swabs on the plates to see what microorganisms you collected in the area you swabbed. So there are three basic steps. First you've got to collect your samples. Then you've got to set up your workspace ready to get going. Then lastly you have to inoculate your plate. Okay, first thing you've got to do is collect a sample. Now you're going to use sterile swabs like you can see here. These are wrapped up completely sterile until you pull them out of the packet. Now when you do pull them out of the packet, the idea is that you very quickly wipe them on the surface that you're wanting to collect a sample from, then put them straight back into the packet so that nothing else gets on there. Remember, there are microorganisms in the air around you as well. So the longer the swab is in the air, it's collecting microbes from the air as well as from the surface that you are looking at. So the idea is to go up to a surface, take your swab, say it's a toilet seat, that's a favourite one of everyone, just take your swab out, run it across the surface like this, collect a little bit of a sample, pop it straight back in and you're done. Make sure that you label the area, the swab here, so that we know what it came from. Next thing, You've got to set up your workspace. Now this is very, very important. If you don't do this properly, you're going to be in trouble because you're going to um, allow other microbes to get into your plate and then you'll actually have a contaminated sample. So the very first thing you have to do is put on your PPE, your gloves and goggles, and make sure that you put your plate and your swab below your Bunsen burner on the bench. There shouldn't be more than about, no more than 20 centimetres, 20 to 30 centimetres distance. I would go for the smaller rather than the latter. Basically you have to try and work as closely as you can comfortably work to that Bunsen burner while it's on. You've got to try and work in the air below the flame because when you turn that flame on, at first it'll be yellow and it'll kill just a little bit of the microorganisms in the area. But when you turn it into blue, it will actually decontaminate the area, meaning that any microbes in the air around that plate, while it's burning, are killed. So while you're 20 to 30 centimeters away from your flame, whatever you do, do not open your plate. Just put it below the flame, put your swab below the flame, and turn your flame onto the safety flame, which is the yellow one. That means to get yellow, you have the little holes here closed. It's being deprived of oxygen. It's not running on turbo. It's going to run at a lower temperature, which is a yellow flame. Next, you have to inoculate your plate. So here's your setup again. And this time you have to have a blue flame to make sure that you have a safe area to work in around that flame. Now to do this you have to first lift up the lid of the plate. So this will have a little lid on it. Lift it up at just a little angle like this to the base of your plate so that you have just this little open area here to get in on. Then you take out your swab and you stick that in there to inoculate your plate. Now when you're doing this you need to make sure that you very carefully swab across the plate. So you draw squiggly lines just like this across your plate. Then you turn your plate 90 degrees and you do squiggly lines again just to get a good cover across the whole plate. Whatever you do, close the lid quickly and make sure you've done this with minimal lid opening. Remember, even with the flame on, there's a chance that microorganisms could blow in every moment that lid is open, keep the lid down as much as possible. Once you've put the lid on, put your swab back in the packet. That's a contaminated swab, it needs to be removed. Next, you have to seal up your plate. Now we're going to give you some film that you'll be shown how to put it on properly in class, but basically you're going to run that film around the edge of your plate here, sealing the lid to the base. Um, and we'll show you a little video that also shows you how to do this very soon. You have to make sure that you don't cover over the, 
the the main part of your plate you just want the film to fold over the edges of both sides completely sealing things in and the very last thing you have to do is you have to label your plate if you don't label it we're in trouble make sure that your labeling is done on the bottom not the top and make sure again that you label a few things like your name what it was or the surface that you had and the date and sign it and that is how you make or inoculate as we call it in biology inoculate an agar plate to see what microorganisms grow.